This segment of the news is brought to you by Great Basin College, a pioneer in distance education. Your success is their tradition. Now offering over 25 degree and certificate programs in Pahrump and online. Welcome back. Now here's what's happening across our state. A new bill has been introduced that would ban animal abusers from adopting another pet here in Nevada. The proposal would establish a registry of convicted animal abusers in the state, requiring anyone found guilty to register themselves. Those convicted of a felony would be registered for a decade. Those convicted of a misdemeanor would stay on the registry for five years. The law would then require licensed breeders, shelters, and rescues to check that registry and deny anyone with a previous conviction. If passed, the law would go into effect July 1st. Lawmakers in Nevada don't want slow drivers in the left-hand lane. There's a bill introduced that would bar slow drivers from the furthest lane on the left on the roads. Motorists going too slow would be fined $50 the first time, $100 the second time, and $250 the third time within seven years. The proposed ban includes exceptions, including during bad weather. Nevada's seasonally adjusted unemployment rate fell to 4.9% in February, the first time it has been below 5% since November of 2007. The jobless rate ticked down one-tenth of a percentage point from January from 5%. February represents the 72nd consecutive month of year-over-year -year declines in the unemployment rate, down 1.2 percentage points relative to February of last year. February saw a seasonally adjusted increase of 3,100 jobs relative to January. As of the fourth quarter of 2016, the number of employers registered in the unemployment insurance system totaled 67,700, setting a new record for the Silver State. The number of employers is up by 660, or 1 percent, from the third quarter of 2016. Year-over-year -year employer counts increased by 2,030, or 3 percent, from the recessionary low of 56,000. Nevada has seen the number of employers grow by 11,700, a 20.9 percent gain. As of the third quarter of 2016, employment in Nevada's firms with fewer than 100 employees totaled 606,000, a new all-time record. Prior to the recession, small business employment peaked at just over 585,000 in the fourth quarter of 2007, but fell to 510,000 as the economic downturn unfolded. Nearly 100,000 jobs have been added to small business payrolls since the recovery began. As of the third quarter of 2016, Nevada has had the fourth fast fastest growing private sector in the nation, with a 3.5 percent job growth rate during the first nine months of 2016. Utah, Idaho, and Florida currently lead the nation. The VA Southern Nevada Healthcare System and Southern Nevada Veterans Community Engagement Board will co-host a health and wellness fair and veterans town hall meeting Saturday, April 1st from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. at the VA Southern Nevada Healthcare System Medical Center located at 6900 North Picos Road in North Las Vegas. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. That's your news across Nevada. Thanks, Deanna. Well, construction is about to begin for a new business in town located near Valley Electric Association on Highway 372. Tractor Supply Company has begun construction here in Pahrump. Construction on the store located at 900 East Highway 372 began on March 13th with the goal of opening this fall. Tractor Supply will serve as a one-stop shop for the Pahrump community farmers, livestock, and pet owners, as well as ranchers, part-time and hobby farmers, gardeners, homeowners, tradesmen, and others. The Pahrump Tractor Supply plans to hire 12 to 15 team members with first-hand knowledge and expertise in caring for for pets, livestock, and land. At the store, customers will be able to shop a wide selection of products, including workwear, boots, tractor and trailer parts and accessories, lawn and garden supplies, sprinkler and irrigation parts, power tools, fencing, welding and pump supplies, riding mowers, and much more. The Prump Store will also carry a wide variety of food and supplies for pets, equine, and livestock. The tractor supply team will also seek to support pet adoption initiatives in 4-H and FFA county fairs, and livestock shows. Leading Techs will construct the 19,097 square foot retail space. The store plans to include a sales floor and an external support service area. The store opening, which is expected to occur in mid-fall, will kick off with a four-day grand opening celebration. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. And you can get your pets microchipped for cheap this Saturday and help out a local pet rescue at the same time. Here's Peggy Sanders with Pets Are Worth Saving. 
talking about the Pets Are Worth Saving Spring Fling that's coming up this Saturday, the 25th. Where's that going to be held at? It's going to be held at the Calvada Eye. If you turn off 160 where the waterfall is, you'll run right into the park. What's going to be happening at the event? Uh, several rescues from Pahrump are going to be having animals available for adoption. Forgotten Friends, Symphony Animal Foundation, and Pets Are Worth Saving. Uh, we're still seeing if anybody else is going to join us, but we'll all have pets there looking for homes. We have vendors who are coming in. There are other nonprofits who are going to have booths there. We have a microchip clinic that's going to be run from one to four. Homestead Animal Hospital has graciously donated their time to come and insert the chips at a very low rate. Um, it's $12 the day of or $10 if you pre-register on our website. Are there any requirements for people to come and adopt the pets? Is there any paperwork they need to bring or anything like that? There's not any paperwork they need to bring. Each organization does have its own paperwork to fill out and um, their own requirements. It's Saturday the 25th. We're going to have bounce house for the kids. We're going to have hay rides. We're going to have a DJ. Um, lots of fun and activities going on. And our own Deanna O'Donnell will be DJing for you guys, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> she was very popular last time, and we were lucky enough to get her for this time, too. That sounds awesome. What time is the event going to be at? It's going to start at 10. And if people want to find out more information, who can they call? They can call our main line, which is 775-253-5051. Or go to the website, Nevada, pause, P A W S, dot org. All right, and we'll have your local weather after the break.